What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day, Google Photos. Now, I know a lot of you, especially if you're on Android, even on iPhone, probably use Google Photos to back up your photos and your videos. You can do it for free, unlimited at high quality. What that means is high quality, you can back up videos up to 1080p in resolution and then photos 16 megapixel in resolution. Completely free, unlimited. That is going to end June 1st, 2021, unless you have a Pixel 5 or older phone. If you have anything else other than one of those phones, you will lose this privilege and you will have to, you will you get 15 gigs. So you'll have up to 15 gigs for free. And then beyond that, you're gonna have to pay and you'll have to sign up for one of their Google One memberships. And currently I'm on the 200 gig one which gives you obviously 200 gigs. You also get um, some extra member benefits, 3% back in the Google store when you make purchases. And uh, you end up getting like, a, like I know I got a free speaker this year. If you up the ante to the uh, two terabyte one, that one is $100 per year and you get two terabytes of storage. You can share it with family. You also get on this one, the extra stuff is you get 10% back in Google store purchases. VPN for your Android phone. Uh, like I said, the option to add family. And then from, from there on out, it gets more expensive. 10 terabytes is $50 a month. 20 terabytes is $100 a month. So it gets quite expensive. But again, June 1st, 2021, high quality uh, photo and video backups will cost you in terms of the storage you have. The free amount is only 15 gigabytes total, not per year, just total. And that includes uh, the 15 uh, gigabytes using your Gmail and your G Drive. And now your Google Photos will be included with that as well. So plan on, if you still wanna back up your photos and videos to Google Photos, probably picking up one of these plans. I'm personally, I probably won't do it just yet. I'll probably do it in June. I'll jump up to the two terabyte plan. And at that point, uh, it's gonna cost me about $100 a year. But I, for me, I feel like it's worth it. I know I could back it up to an external drive but it's always nice to have it in the cloud. It's easier because it's more accessible. Um, they index it with, with uh, you know, looking through names and things like that. If I type in like, oh, Greg, I'll, or you know, dogs, or lakes, or rivers, whatever I wanna search for, all that stuff comes up with Google Photos. And plus it's in the cloud. It's, I feel like it's a little bit safer than if it was in my house where my house could burn down, someone could steal my drive and I lost all those memories. Last story of the day, wish I had it in my hand, Galaxy phones, a bunch of them that don't have Android 11, One UI 3 are soon, very soon, going to be getting them. And I'm holding up the Galaxy Z Fold 2 because this is one of those phones that will be getting it very, very soon. Now, as you can see from the graphics right here, it's gonna come to the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, the Galaxy Z Flip 5G, S10e, S10, S10 Plus, S10 5G, Note 10, Note 10 Plus. Um, the Z Flip LTE will also be getting it hurt, uh, very soon, I've heard. Now, we'll hit Korea first. So what happens is, probably in America and the rest of the world, you'll probably see these betas opening up within the next few weeks. Uh, my guess would probably be in the next two to three weeks, you'll probably see this in the over the entire world for all of these phones. Obviously, at least I know in America, it'll probably just be for like T-Mobile, Unlocked and probably like Verizon or something or whatever they sprint. I forget what carriers it was here in America previously. It'll probably be the same exact thing. I'm gonna get it. it it's it's pretty solid on my, wherever my note phone is. It's pretty solid on my note phone when I use it. I haven't had any issues with the cameras or just using it. And, and this isn't my daily phone, but again, I haven't had any issues. So I'm not worried about using it on my Z Fold 2 as my daily software that I'm running because I don't know, I'm just not. And to have the newest, latest, and greatest software in there is always a perk. It's more fun, even though there's not that much of a difference. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New stories every single day. My question out to you guys is, what are you gonna do with Google Photos stopping unlimited photo backup, photo and video backup on your phones? Are you gonna switch to another service? Are you gonna pay for Google One so that you have more storage or you don't even back up your photos? Let me know what you guys are gonna do. I'm curious. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.